Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. So we're back for part two of the Midland Railways in Barnsley. So in part one, we started at the Cuddeff Railway Station and we made it to this bridge that's just behind us. Behind us. I'm here with Wet Dog. Good afternoon. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue our adventure down the line, starting here at the Ardsley Viaduct, which is also known as, well, Sunnybank Viaduct, I've heard as well. Is that right? Sunnybank. And Dern Viaduct. And Dern Viaduct, yeah. So the Dern Viaduct or the Sunnybank Viaduct or the Arsley Viaduct, whatever you want to call it, actually runs over the River Dern. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look around the viaduct and um, get you some great drone shots of the viaduct before we head down towards Stairfoot. So taking a look at what we're about to explore. In part one, we left the bridge just before the viaduct, which is just here. We're going to be looking around the viaduct and then making our way westbound down towards the Ardsley Tunnel and looking at the lines that bypassed the Cuddeth and Stairfoot Railway. I'm looking at where the Hull and Barnsley Railway connected with the Stairfoot Railway Station. We'll have a look at the melee of lines around Stairfoot Station and how it actually operated. So we're going to have a little look at the viaduct. So back that way is where we left off in part one. You can see the, the bridge that we left at. If we just take a look at the viaduct. Now the brickwork was made of blue engineering brick. And you've got the coping stones on the top. And you can see these trees have grown. It's been ruined by graffiti. And it's the same on the other side. Now the viaduct is accessible to walk down and have a look at, so we're going to take a look down there. So we're just going to take a little venture off the track bed on down to the side of the viaduct. You can just see a little bit of brickwork there. The graffiti. Now the viaduct does have around 11 spans going across the River Dern. You can see this iron support bridge underneath. You can see how the spans support the bridge. Now it is quite steep going down here, so I'm gonna to have to be very careful. Just have a little look underneath the viaduct. You can see the metal supports and the river Dern just down there. Nice little work of art this, so just having a look from another view. You can see it spans 11 arches going across the river. And there's a little uh, footbridge that goes across the river, which I'm just going to take a little walk over. So this is the River Dern. And you've got this footbridge, which, jeez. I think it's the surfaced, but that's the uh, River Dern. And there you go, it's just a different view of the viaduct. Now it does have a slight curve going down to the left. Now these gates at the top, I've been told, were probably not the original part of the structure. I think they were installed after this was converted into a footpath you can see how it curves around there and there's a lot of graffiti at the bottom of all the bases as it goes towards the other embankment that goes down towards Ardsley Tunnel anyway let's head back onto the viaduct and then see what we'll come across further down the line So here's a view of the viaduct. Like I said, this railing probably wasn't here. And I've got a feeling that they did hire this up when it was converted. But there does seem to be like a decent drainage channel here. You can see the little hole there and uh, the drainage channel that goes down here. It kind of leads all the way across the viaduct. There's actually one on both sides.
There's another little look at the River Dern. It goes all the way down there. Some beautiful views around here and it's a nice morning. So you've got Barnsley just over there. You've got a sewage plant just over there. So I've just reached the end of the Ardsley Viaduct and I've got these, I think these are vehicle protection blocks that are going to stop vehicles from crossing over the viaducts like I said in part one. And you've got like the same brickwork and the coping stones that are on top of the abutments on the embankment. just before we head off the viaduct just want to show you this it looks like it was an original telegraph pole you can see the wooden just peek it through you can see the wooden telegraph pole there and you can see the wooden blocks where I'm assuming that you would have climbed up you got the cable that still ties down you just see it here So that was the Ardsley Viaduct. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna make our way down the line towards where the Ardsley Tunnel was because this line actually closed in 1964. Well, originally it closed in 1964, but I'm gonna tell you what happened further down the line back in 1967. Now, as we head off the viaduct, just here you would have had another line that was called the Houghton Main Colliery Branch that went actually underneath the Midland Railway that would have come from Stairfoot Station all the way down to Houghton Main. Now we're gonna save that video for another time, so please tune into that in future. So that would have been the Houghton Main Colliery Branch. You can just see there where there was a cut in and it's been filled in. Like I said, we're gonna save that for another one, so tune in. So I just spotted these here. I'm not sure if there was some kind of milestone post or part of some kind of cabling. Now that's where we've just walked up from the Arsley Viaduct and see how it's 
kind of slopes up and then it goes back down so like I said yeah this bit looks like it probably would have had a lot of earth pumped into it when it was converted so they've actually only converted one side into the tarmac well they've actually left the other side without any tarmac so so back in 1964 the chapel town loop closed so you got Asley tunnel in the background just here so that would have headed towards monk spring in 1967 it did reopen British Rail opened this part of the line that linked it to the Hull and Barnsley Railway, bypassing the tunnel. So before we just head on to the small link to the Hull and Barnsley, I'll just give you a little look at the portal. Now, I have done a video on the Arsley Tunnel inside, so if you've not seen that video, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. But this is the Ardley Tunnel portal. So I'll just let you have a little look. So it was built out of blue engineering brick. And it was a length of 225 yards. With a slight curve. And you've got two wing walls. On each side, you can see the coping stones. And it is quite derelict inside. There's a lot of loose bricks on the outside of the portal. Six bricks thick on the outside. And trust me, on the inside is something I would not recommend. The other side of the tunnel is filled in. So there you go, that was the Asley Tunnel portal. So like I say, this line closed in 1964 but eventually it did reopen, which is gonna lead us onto the part of the sectional line we're gonna walk onto now. So opening back in 1967, bypassing that tunnel. So that's the Ardley Tunnel here. This is the British Rail section. Um, so this will be the section of line that was built to bypass the tunnel that head up, headed up to the Hull and Barnsley Railway. Now it's only a short section, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk along it and show you where it linked to the Hull and Barnsley. So this section where we've just walked past the Arsley Viaduct would have linked up with the Hull and Barnsley Railway, which is just here. So this is the track bed coming from Stairfoot Station, right here. And it would have led down towards the Hull and Barnsley, which I'm just gonna give you a quick show, but we're not going to head down there today. So, this is the track bed of the Hull and Barnsley Railway, which would have headed down that direction. So this would have been an extended part of the railway line that connected with the Hull and Barnsley Railway by passing as a tunnel so at the other side now this isn't track bed here but the Ardley tunnel would have then emerged on the outside just somewhere down there and then carried on towards monk spring so just a little clear up of where we've just been this map is from 1855 to 1915 the section of line that bypassed the tunnel that reopened in 1967 didn't exist which was just here where we walked, connecting to the Hull and Barnsley. Now the whole Chapel Town loop line closed in 1964 due to maintenance issues with the tunnel. So therefore they built the connecting line between the Hull and Barnsley and reopened the northern section of the Chapel Town loop line in 1967, bypassing the Ardley Tunnel. This is where we'll continue the next part of the video down towards Stairfoot via the Hull and Barnsley. We're now going to continue our venture down the Hull and Barnsley Railway down towards near to Stairfoot Railway Station and I'm going to show you how all the lines operated diverting from the Stairfoot Railway Station. So we're onto the Hull and Barnsley that goes down towards Stairfoot. So just having a look at some relics that we've found. Looks like we've found like a, 
remains of a signal pole just here. So the base of one. And then that down there could be potentially the rest of it. In fact, you can see, if you remember the pole that I showed you down at the Arsley Viaduct, that kind of looks similar. And I think it is the same thing. So we've found this uh, telegraph pole down here. So like I said, it's a similar one to what was back at Arsley Viaduct. So we're just having a look around for some more relics. And we've found what we believe. What's this here? That's an insulator look of, of that. Oh yeah. See screw thread. Yeah, you can see these. Yeah, you can see the screw thread in there that would attach onto it. Let's have a little go. That would have fitted on on this this thread here. Yeah. Does it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah screws on. Look. Brilliant. That's an absolute brilliant yeah, find. Yeah. So this was a telegraph pole. It was a really good find that. And that was just literally laid down there. And John has just actually managed to kind of find it and screw it on. Found a fence post. Yeah. Look at that. You can see the hooks on there. Just got to this bridge here. And I think there was a farmer's access that went underneath here. You can just see the brick there. So this used to be a farmer's access, but it's all like landfilled and you can see it's all overgrown so just take you for a look on the other side and yeah found a couple of what we call tensioners apparently that are just to the side of that bridge some more railway relics that were found that have just been shoved to the side so I've just headed off the track bed just for a second and just to come in and have a look at this farmer's access bridge which has got a couple of wind well it's got a wing wall at the side here so it looks like it's made out of red brick there's a little bit of graffiti on the on the bridge but let's have a little walk underneath just to see what's here so this would have passed underneath the railway line And just another look on the other side you can see there's a little drainage pipe just at the top there and it looks like there's more red brick at the top and you can see the massive concrete block there and the coping stones some loose coping stones that have just been left in here so these apparently are pull and bars style ones we're going to head back onto the track bed now and walk down towards Stairfoot Railway Station. So we're approaching where Stairfoot Station was. Now, we're still on the Hull and Barnes, the railway, and Johnny tells me that round here used to be a massive retaining wall that led down towards that bridge. Now, just here where we are, now he said that in the mid 90s, that all the spoil was actually removed from around here and it was taken up the old Chapel Town Loop and was used as part of the infill for the Arthur Tunnel. So this is a section where the line actually split into the Hull and Barnsley Railway. So down in front of me, when we get closer, you'll see this bridge where the Hull and Barnsley Railway went then you've got the embankment down here, which is just here, that was on the Chapel Town Loop Line. That went towards Ardsley Tunnel, which is just going up that way. So you've got the Stairfoot Railway Station just down here. And like I said, you've got the Hull and Barnsley Railway, where we've just come down, the Chapel Town Loop Line along this embankment. So a viaduct would have crossed over the top of Stairfoot Railway Station and headed onto this embankment going down towards the Arthur Tunnel. Now this line here would have been the main line, the GCR line going up towards Barnsley and then you would have had two branches that would have branched off up towards Nossel and then a second junction that would have branched off down to the Houghton Main Colliery which is the one that I showed you as we passed over the Arsley Viaduct. So we're gonna, like I say, we're gonna be showing you 
that one in a future video but this was the site of an absolute melee of lines so hopefully it makes sense to you all so like I said the viaduct crossed over here onto the embankment then you had the Hull and Barnsley bridge that would have crossed over here and like I say the spoiler has been removed to infill the Asley tunnel and then you've got the two branches that branched off towards Nossel and to the Houghton main colliery so our viaduct would have been around here so if we just walk up these stairs <coughs> sorry we're approaching where the Stairfoot railway station was and there's a lot of history around there in fact there's a lot of information about how the railway station used to be so your viaduct would have been around here would have probably been walking underneath it now and it would have got a mcdonald's just over there and it would have made its way down towards monk spring so just there's the site of the stairfoot railway station which i'm going to cover soon if i just turn right here we're just going to go and have a look at where the two junctions towards the outer main colliery was so just another view from on top of the bridge showing you where we've just come so we came from just over there that's the hull and barnsley railway and again the chapel town loops on that embankment there that's where the viaduct was so we've made our way up some steps onto the great central which is going towards barnsley so the stairfoot station's here and we're just going to take a look at where the junctions to the houghton main colliery was so we've just come across another information board so it's still talk about the stairfoot railway station so these boards are actually made out of sleepers i'm not sure if this i think they are salvage sleepers the old wooden ones So just having a look at the junction to what I was talking about before so this slit road never used to exist so just looking from this side this is where the Hull and Barnsley where you can just see that bridge we're across into Stairfoot station and again we're looking at the embankment to the Chapel Town loop there so just as we're approaching Stairfoot railway station we're standing under where the viaduct that went to Mong Spring would have been so the viaduct would have probably gone across over the top where McDonald's is just there going towards Monk Spring it would have headed over the top going towards that embankment just down there towards the Arthur Tunnel so to mop up this melee of lines the viaduct that you can see that crosses over where we were just stood was the Chapel Town loop line this viaduct has now been demolished. You can see how it crosses over the road where we showed you and it meets the embankment. You can see the retaining wall here, just before the bridge that crosses over where that slip road was, going under the viaduct towards where the Stairfoot station is, bypassing it towards this chemical works. This was the site of the Stairfoot new station. This shows the site of the old chemical works where the Hull and Barnsley would have terminated.
So this was what we call a loading gauge. Now it's not the original loading gauge that was here, it's actually a replica one. So it was commissioned in 2020 because it replaced the old one. So this is how it actually operated, so looks like it would have lifted carriages and loaded stuff. But here's a little bit of information on it. So it actually makes sense now. So this was actually the original station. And the newer station was built where the McDonald's was, where I showed the drone footage. Anyway, thank you very much for watching part two of the Midland Railway. Even though we ended up on the Hull and Barnsley Railway. So a massive thank you from me and Wet Dog. Now before you go, I just want to say if you want to get onto Wet Dog's channel, I'm going to leave a link in the description below because it's hard to find his channel if you type it in. So I'll leave a link for his channel, give him a subscription and I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you for part three, which is where we're going to leave from Stairfoot Station going down towards Aldham Junction. Take care. Bye bye.